What I like about this EdTech Policy course is its interactive and hands-on nature of the course, which allow me to uh, apply my knowledge right away into practice. The latter part is also very interesting because you get to meet various practitioners on the ground as well as the challenges that they experience. When schools around the world moved online due to COVID-19, children in developing countries suffered the most. As the third year of the COVID-19 pandemic approaches, classrooms remain fully or partially closed for as many as 647 million school children around the world. Even where schools have reopened, many students continue to lag behind. While digital learning does not produce the same outcomes as in-person education, technology used effectively can close educational gaps and prevent learning loss. To help policymakers and educators navigate solutions to close educational gaps and prevent learning loss, in the midst of the pandemic, the World Bank hosted the first iteration of the EdTech Policy Academy Lab, a two-week hands-on clinic to engage World Bank EdTech fellows on a specific challenge or problem in their project or country dialogue. I'm incredibly pleased to give you the warmest welcome to our first version of the EdTech Policy Academy. We're fully committed to make this learning experience as insightful and exciting as possible. For a two-week period, fellows logged on to the EdTech Policy Academy platform to join webinars and virtual team discussions on five different topics, digital infrastructure, digital learning systems, assistive technology and literacy, teacher digital skills, and systems. The sessions were led by World Bank EdTech team members. Participants discussed the five topics in the context of their ongoing projects and country dialogues and completed 10 missions or exercises that asked them to define the change they envision for their education system, constraints and opportunities to reach all learners, challenges and opportunities for teachers, key players in their country to help achieve their vision for their education system, and evidence or data that they need to understand and address their challenge. In parallel, participants were divided into five groups, one group per key topic to focus on one country challenge. For example, digital infrastructure in Tanzania. How can Tanzania improve access to and quality and relevance of priority programs in higher education institutions? Taking what participants learned during the missions, each group was asked to think about the change they envisioned for their group's country as it related to their assigned topic. The problem they wanted to address, the why, key stakeholders in their country to help achieve this vision, the who, similar global reference countries and potential solutions, the what, and finally, a prototype solution to share with the client, the how. The two weeks concluded with group presentations of these prototype solutions. It was a very good practical experience where my colleagues and I explored solutions to various two technology in service delivery in Moldova. So the key point that I learned is uh, what is it that you're trying to solve and then seeing how um, technology can assist um, that solution. For example, in one of the sessions, we had to prepare a final project which required us to focus on a current bank project. It helped me understand that non-tech areas such as staffing, capacity of a system and procurement have a huge impact on tech reforms and must also be considered alongside them. I'd encourage participants to have an open mind and trust the process. I found EdTech Policy Academy extremely interesting because it draws upon a project-based learning. You're exposed to numerous resources, highly curated by the instructors, and also the course ends with the final project that you work on with your team members. I found the first EdTech Policy Academy lab to be an interesting experience. The intent was to really help details like me working on specific education technology problems in my client countries. So if you're considering this course, I highly recommend it, but make sure to allocate enough time so that you can make the most out of this course and please enjoy and get inspired. I highly recommend signing up for EdTech Policy Academy. The World Bank EdTech team follows the same strategy as participants followed in this course when working with clients. To learn more about this, you can scan the related QR codes on the screen.